every day, Avi, and he said, yeah, get it together, girl. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, first off, I do want to say, let me put on some lip gloss because these lips are looking a little crusty right now. I keep like biting this part right here, which is annoying. So today's video is going to be a tutorial using the, um, I went to uh, Morphe today, no surprise there, I'm always there. Um, so I got the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie Palette and I've been wanting to get this palette for a really long time. First of all, look at this packaging. It's absolutely amazing. Super, I love the size of it. Um, and I just love like the embryolism right here and how it's like glossy and then don't get me started on the name. I think it's super cute. Um, so let's just go ahead and open it up. Now, what I was saying was I really wanted to purchase this palette um, oh, when it came out. But I figured that because her cat's pajamas palette is also in Morphe, that um, her nudie patootie palette would um, soon come. So I was like, I'll just wait, go to the store, and actually get it. Um, so this is what she looks like. I really love this like glossy finish on over here. Um, and then when you open her up, this is what she looks like. Very gorgeous, has a nice size, um, big mirror. 14 shades with this palette. Um, and it's really all just nudes and very cute and very fun. Ooh. Okay, and it also comes with a little plastic thingy as most um, eyeshadows do. Oh no. It's a little dirty down there, but that's fine. So I, first of all, this mirror is giving me life. Like I can actually look into my soul through the eyes with this mirror because it's so big and it's just a nice size mirror for this palette. So um, yeah, without further ado, and if you hear a loud noise, I'm about to turn it off right now because I think it's interfering with the voice quality in my video. It is a fan that I have going on over here in this corner because it gets hot, hot, hot in this room with all these lights and my window open. And I have Baymax in here and he carries a pack of heat with him everywhere he goes. So without further ado, let's make it do what it do. Okay. So as always, as always in this video, I do prime my eyelids with concealer and I'm just going to take my good and trusty Maybelline Fit Me um, and then I do take my Morphe M173 brush and just blend all this goodness out. nice even base so while I'm blending this out I just really hope you guys are liking my vlogs because I know that I just like basically go to work <laughs> um, Monday through Friday so I'm really not vlogging like during the week and it's really just the weekend um, but that's literally my life right now I work all the time basically and the only time I have to vlog is the weekend so I am really hoping you guys are enjoying it and I'm really hoping you guys are um, you know, liking it and kind of giving a sense of what my everyday life is every day. To set the concealer, I'm going to take some Maybelline Fit Me or um, CoverGirl Loose Setting Powder and just make sure that it doesn't go nowhere. No way. No way. I'm going to dip into the shade Undressed, which is this beautiful, nudie, light, light brownish, nudish, New, oh, they're all nudish colors. It was a, it's more of a light cream color, I would say, a little bit. It's a bunch. And I'm just going to blend this into the as a transition shade. Might as well use this mirror in here. Am I right? Dip into the shade 
right here called Reveal. And I'm just taking on the same brush um, just a little bit and blending it that into the transition shade as, or transition um, colors as well. They're called Bare. And I'm going to take it on a Morphe M576 brush and I'm going to blend this into the crease to start to build it up. And just go around the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. So far, all of these eyeshadows, they're blending really, really nice. Um, they are, you know, they're working. They're working for me. So, so far, so good. But anyways, um, I am watching, I just started watching Blacklist, uh, which is a TV show on Netflix. And I believe it's still going on from my understanding and from... Well, my coworkers are telling me that they're on season five right now, I think, and going into a season six. Um, so that I'm really excited about. And this bear color right here is giving me life. It just blends nice and evenly into the other colors that I put on top. All right, Laura. The shade called Butt Naked right here. Wait a second. Yeah, Butt Naked right here. Um, so anyways, I am, and I'm taking it on a Morphe M411 brush, and I'm going to blend this into the crease just to deepen it up a little bit, but mainly keep it really low and not go kind of above the, the bare color that we put in the crease as well. Um, so I am watching Blacklist. It is a TV show on Netflix. Um, that's how I'm kind of catching up, and I absolutely love it. I am... Insa insanely addicted to it right now. I just binge watch it all the time. If I take like a break at work, I'm watching it at this point. If I, you know, at my lunch, I'm watching it. I don't. They're just blending so nice and so smooth. And they don't feel like rough on the eye. And I'm blending. I've been constantly blending these eyeshadows. And they're just not rough on the eye. And my eyes aren't irritated because there are some times where I blend so much with certain eyeshadows because they're just not blending the way I want them to blend that my eyelids are like, girl, stop. Like, you're freaking, no, too much blending is going on here. But not with this palette. This palette is actually really nice. So to do the outer corner of the eyelid, I'm going um, to take this shade called Nakey Nakey, this shade right here, on the same uh, Morphe M411 brush, and focus this color out here. more of a dark brown like a chocolate brown I would say this color is so definitely want to build that up to what I want in the outer corner I'm gonna go back into the shade butt naked right here and I'm gonna take it on a Morphe R39 brush just because I feel like the crease color kind of got a little bit lost so I'm just going to blend that into the crease a little bit more Perfecto. So I really want to try this one shade in here that's just been like mm. speaking to me on another level, like spiritual, emotional, makeup level. And it is called Jaybird, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous shade right here. I mean, come on. It's like, it is like a dream. Oh my God. It legit. Okay. All right, Laura. Okay. Girl. 
Mm -mm. I'm going to try with my finger just to see the difference. Okay. Um, I would say that blending it with your finger is a little bit better. Um, I feel like a lot more pigment came off with, blend with using my finger versus using a brush. Which is A-OK -okay for me, but if you um, don't like using your finger, then I would suggest um, a brush. It works just as fine with a brush, but I feel like you get a lot more pigment with your finger. I mean, come on, look at that. And this is fierce. So I am going to um, be back. Now, what I want to do, because time and time again, it's the same makeup routine with me. Um, I pretty much use the same foundation. I don't want to bore you into a long ass video. So what I'm going to do is just finish the rest of my face. And then I'll be back so we can go over the palette and then I will do some swatches. Okay, so I am back. Face is on. Eyebrows are on. Lashes are on. Um, so now I know I didn't film this part because it's pretty much the same thing. But I will still tell you guys everything that I used. So, as normal, I moisturized my skin with the Glam Glow Glow Starter and Nude Glow. Um, it's a little sample that I got from Sephora and I've actually been really loving it. The foundation that I used today was the Milani Concealer Imperfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in Light Beige. This bad boy has been giving me life and I really like how it looks on my skin. Um, for powder or for concealer, it's the same Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand. Um, bronzer is the same, the Physicians Formula Bronzer in um, Sunkissed. I also use, all my powders were the same, the Wet n Wild, the Banana. I also used this, um, it's the Dulce de Leche um, powder little thing, um, and I used both. So I used this to highlight underneath my eyes, and then I used this color to do a little bit of contouring, not too much. Um, and then I set everything with the CoverGirl Loose Setting Powder. For highlight now I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous video when I first tried it but I will say these lashes are like driving me insane right now I think I have to put mascara on them so I first tried the makeup revolution champagne liquid highlighter this little um, guy right here so when I first tried it I did not like it at all I applied it with a brush how I usually do my highlight and I was like, oh no, I even tried it with the beauty blender at first after the brush and I was like, oh no, I don't like it. Like it's leaving me patchy, it's taking off my, it's taking off my foundation. I was like, what is going on? So then later on I was like, okay, let me try it again. So I tried it again, but I tried it with a damp beauty blender. Now when I first did it with the sponge, I didn't wet it, it was dry. So I tried it the second time or the third time with the sponge and I like it 10 times better. I just put it on a little corner edge of my um, beauty sponge or whatever you want to call it and lightly start to like dab it in and then just like blend it all the way until I, I like how it is. It doesn't take off my foundation as a brush does for me, um, but I like it 10 times better with a, with a like sponge. So highly, highly, highly recommend these. Very nice is a simple glow now I did put on top of the liquid highlight I did put on the uh, Morphe and Bretman Rock collaboration highlight palette and I've absolutely been loving that highlight palette I use it every day um, and I went in with the shade get laid which is this guy right here and have absolutely been loving this palette good so for lashes, I did try the Morphe DTLA lashes, um, and I'm they're like straight. They're not standing up for me. So I'm going to try and apply some mascara. If not, these bad boys are going to have to come off. They're not my cup of tea. Like I really like when my um, lashes stand like up and full, um, and I would recommend, like, usually I don't have to put on, um, mascara with my falsies because they blend really nice and I don't I have to if I do it's like a little bit so I'm like really sad that these are like full-on no girl you're gonna have to put some like mascara 
which is kind of sad to me because I was really hyped for these lashes. But let's go in and finish the underline or the water, the eyes. So I'm going to take the shade Button Naked. I'm gonna take it on my Morphe M411 brush and just run this under the lash line. I'm gonna take the shade Stark, which is this plain little white up here. Yes, yes. Rewind, reverse. So now we're gonna do a little bit of swatches for the palette um, and just show you guys, you know, cause I didn't use all of it, so all the colors. So we're just gonna do some swatches and we're gonna do the top row and then we'll do the bottom row. So top row first. This color is Stark. I don't know if you guys are able to see this, but there we go. That's Stark. It's more of a, it has a little bit of sheen to it, um, but it's what I use in my inner corner and it's actually really nice. The next color is Undressed. That one you're not gonna be able to tell very much. Like you can kind of see, um, but it's very like a a nude, uh, like a kind of reminds me like a toffee color, a light toffee color. So you're not gonna be able to really see it on my skin tone, um, but you can try again. Yeah, it's not really there on my skin tone, but still beautiful. It's what I use in the beginning. Perfect. This next shade is topless. Then we have streaking. This one you're not going to be able to really tell either. This next color is Uncover. It's like a purple pinkish color. Next I have Strip. These are just amazing. And then the last color here on the top row is Bear. That's Bear. Very much pink. It's, it's a pink for sure. So that was the top row. The first color is going to be Exposed. Then I have um, Au Natural, I think is how you pronounce it, but I'm not too sure. So don't quote me on that. Oh my gosh, this, this is just ready. Bro, bro, you see that pigment? Do you see this pigment? Like, come on. Moving on, because I think it speaks for itself. This color is Reveal. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. I have Jaybird, which is on my eyelids right now. Another just super, super creamy color. Then I have Buff is next. Whoa! Why did that not go on my eyelid or my eye at all? That's okay. We're going to use this palette next time. And then the last shade here is Nakey Nakey. Gorgeous. This palette is really, really nice. I absolutely enjoyed using it. And this is my first time using it um, at all. I literally just got back from the Morphe store, popped in. I was like, let me film a video real quick boom here it is the video so i absolutely enjoyed this palette i think the colors are wonderful and i think they were really really well thought out by what she wanted to accomplish in this palette and with her shades and everything like she stuck true to her nudie patootie 
name, I would say, because there's various of nudes in here. It's deep, it's light, it's shimmery, it's not, it's very shimmery. And she added, you know, a couple little colors in there, like the Jaybird and the Exposed and the Dare. So it's, I really, really enjoyed this palette. I am going to use it again. So let me stop rambling on because this concludes my video. And my poppers is sleeping right there and he's waiting for mom to play with me. So I'm going to end this video with some Morphe to or setting spray. I don't know why I talk every time I set my face. Like, girl, get it together. But other than that, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.